do you want your kids to have sex education or sex training? <laughs> and your kids might answer the question differently. Because <laughs> you know that training means you do the behavior and you get feedback. That's powerful. Have you ever heard this word, online training? It's an oxymoron, isn't it? I mean, training is watch the behavior get... So we've had a training question, we've had an educational question, this is the motivational question. Do you believe the consequences? This is about consequences. B.F. Skinner taught us this, selection by consequences. Dale Carnegie quoted B.F. Skinner and said, from the day you were born, everything you did was because you wanted something for doing it. Consequences. Is it worth it? So you have to convince people that it's worth it. Now, by the way, if you answer yes to those three questions, you feel competent. You feel competent at doing worthwhile work. When you feel competent at doing worthwhile work, you're more likely to be self-motivated. No one has to be looking over you, leaders, teachers. How do you inspire people to feel competent? Well, you give them feedback. You give them recognition. You show them they are competent. Okay, I got one more. The other C word, choice. Your common sense will tell you. When you believe you have a sense of autonomy, a sense of choice in what you're doing, you feel more self-motivated. Skinner taught us that too. In his book, Beyond Freedom and Dignity, way back in 1971, reading that book changed my life because I realized that I am controlled by consequences. But sometimes I don't feel controlled. When I'm working for a pleasant consequence, it feels good, it feels like I'm working to get something when I'm working to avoid an aversive consequence. I feel controlled. That's called negative reinforcement. How do we get people to become success seekers rather than failure avoiders? First day of introductory psychology class, I teach two classes of 600 students. I say, how many are here to avoid failure? And 80% raise your hand. And I say, well, thanks for coming. I, I know you're motivated, but you're not happy campers. It's a requirement. Not I get to go to class. You probably woke up to an alarm clock, not an opportunity clock. <laughs> and it's all in how you see it. Really, it's all in how you see it. It's how you communicate to others and how you communicate to yourself. So Ellen Langer said in her book, Mindfulness, she said, and psychologists know, when you perceive choice, you perceive motivation. You're more motivated. Sit back and reflect. Be mindful of the choices you have. And talk about being a success seeker rather than a failure avoider. I've got a fourth C word, community. Psychologists know that social support is critical. 